Nope. I won't make you watch that. Not again. But it does bring up a great point. I mean, since our last meeting, over 4,000 people have watched that video on the internet. It won an award from the California Association of Local Economic Development and has been passed around and imitated from coast to coast. Hmm, one little idea, one big impact. That's the power of social media. No advertising, no promotions, just word of mouth. You watched a video, you told a friend, they posted it on Facebook, and 4,000 views later, here we are. So the question is, how do I use that kind of power to grow my business in Merced? It must be hard, right? We've all heard the buzzwords, social media, search engine optimization, crowdsourcing, but we don't know a tweet from a Yelp. Well, hold on, I've only got two minutes left, but here goes. First, let's look at the big picture. Think nobody's using social media? Facebook has 800 million active users. They grew by 200 million last year. Twitter has 100 million active users, and LinkedIn has 64 million users in North America alone. Still don't think it's for you? Here's the simple math. The average Facebook user has 130 friends. That's a low number. Ask the people at your table how many friends they have. So let's see. If your business has an average presence on Facebook and you post that you're having a sale this Saturday, you immediately tell 130 of your customers the news. Let's say that 10% of them decide to tell their friends, so that's an additional 1,690 people who just found out about your sale. If 10% of them decide to come into your store, that would be 169 customers who came in because you or a friend told them about your sale. If you think this is all theory and doesn't hold up in Merced, think again. Earlier this year, someone started a group on Facebook for people who grew up in Merced. Membership in the group spread like wildfire, and someone said they remembered when we used to cruise on 17th Street. Yeah, I know, Main Street, whatever. One thing led to another, and within the week, a couple of hundred people were cruising Maine on a Friday night. An offshoot of this is a local group that sprung up called Flashby. Each week they pick a local business to patronize, and somewhere between 75 and 150 of the 1,500 members of the group go into that business and spend money. So what can you do to grow your business on the internet? If you're not familiar with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Yelp, Pinterest, or any of the other ways to connect on the internet, find someone who is. Chances are they'll be glad to help you. And it's not just the internet anymore. Of the six billion people on the planet, 4.8 billion have a mobile device. Only 4.2 billion have a toothbrush. People are connected all the time. Someone driving up or down Highway 99 is looking on Yelp to see what restaurants, shopping, and lodgings available. And they're doing it right now. Make sure you know what they're reading about your business. And while we're at it, have you Googled yourself lately? Try it. It's a great way to find out what others are seeing about you or if they're seeing you at all. If you have a web page and you don't show up on Google, chances are you haven't updated your page in a few days or months or years, decades. So find someone close to you, a friend, a relative, a customer, or go pry that Xbox controller out of your kid's hand and ask them to help you start a Facebook page. Remember, one small idea could lead to one large bank account. Hmm at a local bank, of course.